Hey everyone, it's Job. I hope you're doing well. Today we are working on December Daily Day 2. We are going strong with December Daily and the daily videos for now, but I actually have a confession to make. This is actually a pre-filmed video because this is a collaboration with some amazing YouTubers, journalers, and artists. I was actually approached by Meg of Meg Journals and Daisy of My Green Cow to participate in their December Journal Challenge, which is a 12 days of journaling uh, challenge that they are hosting on Instagram and YouTube. There are 12 different journalers and artists that are participating in this challenge and there's basically a new video up on different channels each day which is pretty amazing that uh, Daisy and Meg um, were able to uh, organize this but basically if you look at the playlist below you can follow along all the amazing journalers and artists and all the different posts that are going to come up each day for the next 12 days. So I have the wonderful day two um, which the prompt for today is favorite festive foods and honestly I feel like they might have been reading my mind um, at least Meg and Daisy were because I love food it's it's no no surprise and I thought I would kind of just instead of like just journaling about it or finding stickers about my favorite foods I thought I would actually bust out my gouache paints and kind of try some painting again because this used to be kind of a mainstay on the channel I used to try and do some watercolors here and there and I don't know I'm just a lazy person I love just gluing and collaging because it feels comforting and after a long day of work it's what my mind is able to wrap around when I'm journaling for for the day but I really wanted to exercise I guess my creative juices and actually try um, painting uh, my my favorite foods but I'm using gouache and gouache is actually opaque, which is great because I am using craft paper, which is, you know, a tinted paper. It's not just regular white paper, which, you know, would be, I guess, the the standard for painting. So I was kind of nervous how the colors would um, kind of turn out. And I think the colors turned out great, uh, but I actually kind of don't know how to use gouache still. I'm kind of diluting it pretty thin, like watercolor which is fine uh, i'm still getting a pretty opaque um, look to it but i really don't know what i'm doing with gouache it's kind of like um, the wild west for me i'm just kind of playing around and just getting used to it but while i am painting very slowly i thought i would walk you through the different foods that i painted because i thought for the right hand side of the spread it would just be all of my favorite foods um, from december so i first drew a or painted a candy cane i love candy canes peppermint anything is basically my jam and i also started drawing a starbucks cup you can't really see it right now but um the starbucks holiday drinks are my guilty pleasure as much as i like to think i'm a coffee snob i'm not really but uh i still love a good peppermint mocha or like a that what's that Car the caramel brulee oh that one's really good too that one's really sweet though um and i still love having one during the holidays it just brings back a lot of memories um in the past um and weirdly i do love brussels sprouts but i um love it when it's cooked in like a not burnt way but like when it's really really crispy like almost to the point of it being maybe overdone or a little bit burnt but i love it when it's like overly caramelized with like a sweet and sticky kind of um seasoning and it has i don't know bacon like you know the the typical holiday-esque um brussels sprouts i actually really like how i painted it um and then on the bottom of that i drew some carrots i love roasted carrots and then beside that i drew potatoes and this is where i had a hard time um like painting potatoes because i feel like all of my favorite foods are brown and it doesn't really make for a fun kind of painting session so right now i'm just doing like the foundational layers and i was just trying to i guess warm up because i really haven't painted in a while so i'm just trying to get my my footing in terms of painting and it was actually really fun this was very therapeutic this was actually filmed a few days before um december i think this might have been on no uh, like late november so i actually had some time to actually sit down and journal for you know a solid amount of time without you know the time constraints of december daily and like posting videos and whatnot but i really enjoyed um kind of painting all of these other things i should probably tell you the other things that i um, drew because i actually incorporated a lot of uh, filipino dishes um, that i 
I don't know if are traditionally like holiday foods, but I just love to eat um, these foods. And I think I just ended up drawing and painting a lot of the foods that I like to eat like on a regular basis, not just like during the holidays, but the top little kind of pudding thing um, on the top of the page is actually called leche flan. It's kind of like um, a caramel pudding or a caramel flan. It has like almost like a burnt sugar like topping on top, which is really good. Um, I guess it's kind of like a creme caramel. I really love it. It's it's so good. It's so silky and very um, rich. And I love adding it to halo halo, which is kind of like a Filipino shaved ice. But that's the Filipino dish up top. And then the skewers or that one skewers actually um filipino barbecue which is my favorite type of barbecue um it's usually on a stick and it's usually seasoned in a very like sweet manner and you kind of dip it in um a, a vinegar sauce which i like because it cuts like the fattiness and the sweetness of the barbecue oh i could just talk about food forever um and then below that is actually just a good old I don't know if I was trying to paint a turkey or a chicken, but I love any sort of like turkey or chicken during the holidays. Um, I, we actually got a air fryer and I have been liking the rotisserie function on that. And then below that is a poorly painted ham. And then below that is a steak. Um, I know these are very like non-traditional holiday foods, but I realize that being Filipino and growing up in Canada, um, like the food that I ate during the holidays is kind of a mix of all those things. And it, that's what I find really cool about, uh, I guess, the holidays and being, you know, uh, a first or 1.5 gen um immigrant to canada i feel like there's just like a mixing of cultures and you know i love eating my steak with rice or my ham and my turkey and gravy with a side of rice and other filipino dishes i feel like it's what i don't know makes the holidays for me it's just like the mix of you know the the very like canadian or traditional um, western foods with the foods that i um, grew up eating or the food that my parents um grew up eating and have kind of passed down on to me i don't know food is just something that's super personal and i know this prompt is actually probably one of my favorite prompts because the food and the holidays kind of go together at least for me food and memories of the holidays are kind of intertwined so it's really hard to not talk about the holidays without talking about food uh, but lastly i drew some peppermint bark i don't know if everyone has tried peppermint bark but peppermint bark is just like a candy cane and chocolate or crushed up candy cane or peppermint candy um i guess it rolled in chocolate or i guess it's kind of no i should probably correct myself it's actually just peppermint bits or peppermint candy bits um tossed in some chocolate and then it's poured and cut and then usually finished with some dark chocolate so it's usually white chocolate with a dark chocolate kind of decor or like finishing on top i really like it um but as you can see i just love anything pepperminty um and i think at this point i was getting a little bit more confident with the painting i was adding more layers again don't take any advice from me in terms of painting and using gouache because i don't know what i'm doing this is still a relatively new palette to me this is the himmy uh jelly gouache which is really cool i don't think i was able to show what the paint looks like but it's actually in these cool jello looking cups At this point in the journaling session, I was getting a little bit kind of antsy about how this painting side of the journal spread would look like because some of the paintings look, you know, very loose and watercolory. And I really like that aesthetic. But some of the other doodles, kind of like the cup and the candy cane and the Starbucks cup, look very like graphic and very flat, whereas the other things look a little bit more 3D. So I didn't know if I was going to come back in with some line work and you know use a black pen or marker to add some definition but i told myself to just kind of take a pause on the right hand side of the spread and actually do some some journaling on the left hand side of the spread so i wanted to do some collaging and obviously i pulled out my uh free printable this is the december daily tearaway calendar sheet i actually just turned it into a sticker sheet because i wanted it to be convenient 
for myself uh, but yeah the link is down in the description bar below if you want to use these december daily calendar tearaway sheets i love tearaway uh, calendars so i thought i would create another one for this year and if you've been um a long time subscriber or follower of these videos you would know that i absolutely love a good tearaway calendar moment uh, but yeah we're just doing some collaging on the left hand side of the spread i took some of this nice green holiday paper that i've had for maybe i think two years now and then i layered it with a receipt paper i don't actually know where it's from i think it's from some happy mail and then i added my december 2nd tearaway calendar sheet then I added this vintage stamp that I got from a lovely friend, Skylar Hand, that I purchased from her shop, I believe this time last year. And then I added this nice green map washi that has, um, I guess, part of uh, Canada on it, which is kind of cool because it kind of links um, both sides of both sides of the spread because you know there are some kind of more western foods that i enjoy here and then there's some filipino foods that i enjoy here so it kind of brings together my my background actually which um feels really personal to me which i actually uh you know was not it wasn't intentional but it feels good that <laughs> it was a nice link that um i was able to make honestly am i just bsing this while doing the voiceover you will never know uh, but as you can see um i actually just added the line work i just added it very faintly just because some of the doodles just like the cups just felt like it was missing something and i thought you know just a nice little black line around some of the elements might make things pop a little bit more and i tried to keep it loose and a, a little bit messy like i tried to keep my hand um a little bit shaky that's you know that's actually uh my excuse because my hands are just shaking in general but maybe it's the coffee but um i really like the look of like the looser line work because it kind of matches the looser painting style um that some of the doodles have um and then before i signed off from this journaling um, session i actually decided to just label all of the food items just to fill in that negative space because as you know i love the minimalist look but i have a hard time achieving it because i just love the look of like a full page i know there's is some more breathing room on the left hand side of the spread which is good because that's where i'm going to do my journaling which i'm going to do off camera um so it is you know it's still not overly suffocating i think um, even though i will write quite a bit in the left hand side of the spread um, i still like that there's you know some negative space uh, but right now i'm just adding the finishing touches which are some of these lovely acorns from the pet tape that has the acorns and the pine cones but that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed journaling with me um, be sure to let me know in the comments below what your favorite festive food is and be sure to check out the rest of the amazing journalers and artists that are part of the 12 days of journaling thank you again meg and daisy for letting me be part of this challenge i really enjoyed kind of thinking outside of the box today and actually focusing on a prompt rather than uh, documenting my actual day which is something that i kind of automatically gravitate towards during december daily so thank you so much for uh, letting me be part of this and be sure to check out everyone else that is part of the journaling challenge down in the description bar below um, you can check out the free printable as well <laughs> down below and i will see you again very soon hopefully for another december daily video will it be december daily day three or will i take a short break and do day three and four we'll never know well you'll we'll know very soon okay i'm rambling again i'll see you all next time love you all bye